Hello, this is Blue and I'm at Highways on a Queer Monday performance art evening. And we have with us Sky, the delusional diva, and Ryan, the filmmaker from New York. Hey everybody. And this was their pre-premiere. Is that what, how you would say it? I would say exclusive first screening ever. It was a rough cut of a, a portion of a big film that we're working on. I like to call it a feature length short film. <laughs> and it, it's, it, it, it's main character is Fatima. So I'm going to ask you right away, yes. where did Fatima come from? Well, uh, Fatima is just one of my many, many characters. I'm a character specialist, uh, kind of like Lily Tomlin, Tracy Ullman, uh, Whoopi Goldberg in the old days, Carol Burnett. I love to play and just dress up in, with costumes and wigs and play different characters. Uh, Fatima actually came about nine years ago when I first moved to West Hollywood with my one of my other uh, film partners, Jason Jen. He would follow me around with a camera and I would just dress up and create new characters and this was actually a spin-off of a real live Indian lady who would wobble around our neighborhood and try to talk to me. Her name was Bina Singh and she didn't speak any English but um, she'd walk around in her little sneakers and her full sari and she'd always you know come come over to me and bring me Indian food for some reason she thought I was really cool <laughs> and so one day I just like took a scarf and put it around my head and said to Jason hey Hey, let's go out and film and all of a sudden I was Fatima and, and, I, and I had adventures around West Hollywood walking around and looking for the woman of my dream and um, how that came about was just basically being human and looking for love in my life it's a way that I've been able to channel into my character to relate to like the humanity of anybody and that just looks for love in all the wrong places sometimes. Now, I've been fortunate enough to see Fatima's character in a performance here a few, quite a few months back. Which, um, and, and in that evening, you were not, weren't only Fatima, you were a few other characters. What was the name of that evening? Oh, uh, well, I've done a lot of pieces here at Highways Performance Space in Santa Monica. It's a very famous space. Uh, it's been around for 20 years. That particular piece was a part of a one-woman show I'm working on called Calling America, Don't Hang Up, which is about my experiences of being a professional fundraiser for a very conservative think tank. And I just threw that up and, you know, did a, a few different characters as part of an experiment of you know, what flies in front of an audience. I've also been doing Fatima as part of my stand-up comedy. Um, and, you know, this film, Woman of My Dreams, this particular film, <laughs> Fatima's First Lady, is like the second in a series of, I think, a string of films that will come about, uh, some in conjunction with Ryan Wolowski, okay. the uh, co-filmmaker for this particular piece, and some with uh, Jason Jen, and some on my own. and. No, I, 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 the character gets a lot of um, laughs and a lot of publicity, but it's also touching and moving and funny. So I've been sticking her in to all different forms of art and all the, the different things she that I do. truly is endearing, that's for sure. Thank you. That, but when you mentioned film, then I wanted to ask, yeah. ask you. Um, so how, where do you see it developing? A, a feature lane? Well, um, I say that this is a feature length film, Blue, because it's a universal story. And it's so big when you have something that's universal that everyone can relate to. So we work on projects. I work for network television and she works for other things. And we were lucky enough to be in Washington, D.C. covering Barack Obama stepping into the White House last year. So we were coming back really well educated about Obama mania. And we realized that Michelle was a global figure. And when you add Fatima's desire to be love and to love and not be judged for it. To bring that, to connect it to Michelle Obama, it sets it as a world precedence. And that makes it feature length because who can't relate to wanting to be loved and to love back and to not be judged for it? I mean, the Fatima message is universal. It was kind of interesting because, uh, you know, Ryan just happened to meet me. We were doing the Michelle Obama stuff. I brought a scarf with me. I knew it was going to be a little chilly. And out of nowhere, you know, I just stood up. I said, Ryan, hey, take the camera. I want to do this clip, you know, and just uh, talk talk about Fatima, and the next thing we know, we spent the whole day walking around to National Monuments, to the White House, you know, going to all the diff these different places, and, you know, As Fatima. I, forget it, I plant a seed in this guy's head, hold on, I, I plant a seed in this guy's head, like, hey, let's just do a two-minute clip, and the next thing I know, it's going to be like, you know, a feature film. Well, the great thing is, you know, part of Fatima and Sky are the same, and they love to just get out there and tell, like, hey, hi, hi, very much like you do, and Fatima does that, so it was so easy to work with Sky, because there's an element of Sky in 
Fatima. And when we're out at these locations, I could channel her through the scarf to really reach out to the whole world. And we wanted to get to all of the locations again to show that it's a global message. When you see the White House, you think about world politics. Why not think about world love? I think another thing that's really interesting is um, Ryan and I have known each other and been working together for 20 years and now for the last almost 10 years from opposite coasts. He lives in New York, I live in LA. We meet somewhere in DC or in New York and all of a sudden you know we create work together. What's really great is how we work together and how he's able to channel and and you know and um, promote and and bring out the best in me and my characters. Um, he he's a great director. Uh, even when he went back to New York, he's calling me and going, "Okay, go get some more shots. Go do this. Now you've got to go to the White House." So part of the film is handheld, and I'm doing it all by myself. Oh, yeah, she's part actually, of it is him. She was at her job because you know we were both working in DC, and I'm already back at my job in New York, and I'm like, "You've." got to step out of your job, you've got to go in front of the yeah. White House, put a scarf in your purse and start shouting <laughs> for her, Michelle. And she goes, I can't, I'm at work in DC. I'm like, well, you've got to do that because I can't come back and shoot it. Go yeah. now, come back to your job. And she oh, did it, you know. You found a stranger to hold the camera? I, I held the Hand camera held. myself oh, and, and at one point I did, I asked, I was in front of the White House and there were guards and, you know, I, I said to some like Turkish lady, hey, can you just hold this camera for me for about 20 seconds? I'm going to put a scarf on my head and I'm going to be a character. And I started jumping up and down. You'll see this, you know, when the main film comes out. I'm jumping up and down in front of the White House and I think she got really nervous and she's like, okay, that's <laughs> enough, you know. Uh, like, <laughs> because, you know, all of a sudden, you know, it's in front of the White House. Uh, the other <laughs> so thing is we funny. actually, as real people find Michelle Obama to be hot. I mean, she's I very, she's very hot. sexy. I mean, very I'm all hot. pro when she got off the plane wearing the shorts and showing her sleeves, and I actually think she's a very sexy woman. So in that aspect of, you know, paying tribute to Michelle, there is no spoof. We're not mocking the Obama family. We actually, actually, you should say it for yourself. Do, we, do you agree? Oh, not <laughs> mocking them at all. Very excited, and I, I hope it's something that, you know, makes people laugh and makes people warm up to, you know. But to, is she hot? She's <laughs> We agree that Michelle Obama they is a are beautiful and first family. And Fatima's never seen anything <laughs> like it. Oh my goodness, Michelle! Oh my goodness, she is with her arms and the sleeveless and so muscular and oh, and I, they made a vegetarian dinner together and this is my culture. From the <laughs> it's really cool. Oh my gosh. Now, is there anything else you really want everyone to know? Like maybe your websites or how they could get a hold of oh, you? Oh sure, yeah. You know, one of the things is I do public television in New York for years on end and the best place to get information about that. That's where you can see some of our reporting. We'll get reruns of us covering the Obama election. You can uh, get all that information at www.ryanisland.com. R-Y-A-N-I-S-L-A-N-D dot C-O-M. And I actually have a website, delusionaldiva.com, because as Ryan and you said, I am the delusional diva. Uh, this encompasses a lot of my various forms of work, from being a clown to uh, to doing massage therapy to um, showing my films and my, my songs. I'm a musician. I write my own music. Uh, and so delusionaldiva.com has a link to YouTube, and you can watch um, Fatima, the Woman of My Dreams. Pretty soon you'll be able to watch Fatima's First Lady. I even just on my own shot some footage of Fatima looking for the woman of her dreams in Montreal. Canada. So there's a lot of, you know, a lot upcoming. Um, and, you know, check it out, delusionaldiva.com. From New York City to Washington, uh, D.C. to right. highways in Santa Monica, California, we're spreading the Fatima love around the world without being judged. That's the message. Don't judge Fatima. And don't judge yourself. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing these folks on the big screen and everywhere else in between. Thanks for having us, Blue. Well, thank Here you, we Blue. are at highways. <laughs> Good night. He's Blue. I'm Sky. <laughs> I'm Ryan. That's Ryan. We'll see you soon. Salud. Bye-bye. Hola! Okay. <laughs>